Welcome to Law Day. For more than 50 years, Law Day has served as a time to learn about and celebrate our nation's legal system. This year, the Law Day theme throughout the country recognizes the 800th anniversary of the signing of the Magna Carta. What's the Magna Carta? It's a document issued by the King of England, King John, in 1215 in a town outside of London called Runnymede. Why do we remember the Magna Carta today? Because of how important that document was and still is. As President Obama explained a few years ago in a speech to the British Parliament, centuries ago when kings, emperors, and warlords reigned over much of the world, it was the English who first spelled out the rights and liberties of people in the Magna Carta. The Great Charter, that's what the Latin phrase Magna Carta means, was handwritten on a single piece of sheepskin, and its text is shorter than our Constitution. But its enduring words laid the foundation for freedom because the Magna Carta limited the power of the king and granted certain rights to English subjects. That was a remarkable event in its time. The document inspired many basic rights that we as Americans hold dear today. Due process, trial by jury, the right to travel, and others. Former United States Supreme Court Justice William Brennan, a New Jersey native who also served on our state's Supreme Court, said that the first eight amendments to the federal constitution our Bill of Rights owes its parentage to the Magna Carta. You see, the Magna Carta embodies a simple truth, that no one, no matter how powerful, is above the law, not the king, the president, or a wealthy political figure or leader. For those reasons, the document has been cited as a shining light of hope throughout history. When Eleanor Roosevelt addressed the United Nations in 1948 and introduced the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, she referred to it as an international Magna Carta. When Nelson Mandela was on trial in 1964, he spoke about how the Magna Carta was treated with great respect by people throughout the world. Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, and other revolutionary leaders also spoke of it as a symbol of the rights of individuals. And our United States Supreme Court has cited the Magna Carta more than 170 times in opinions about civil rights and liberties and other topics. Today, as was true 800 years ago, the Magna Carta remains the foundation for the rule of law. The notion that all people, no matter their gender, race, religion, or economic status, are equal before the law and entitled to its protections. That is something worth celebrating on Law Day and throughout the year. What can you do? Spend just a few minutes this week while you're looking up things on the internet to Google the Magna Carta you'll be able to learn more about its fascinating history and why it still matters today. That's a journey worth taking as we commemorate the 800th anniversary of the Great Charter for All of Humankind. Good luck on your own journey, and thank you very much.